Well, hey, Dream Team, welcome to another episode of The Five. This week with special guest, Pastor Chris Spedick, hey. all the way here from downstairs. <laughs> He has a, a great thing to share with us today. And today we wanted to talk a little bit about thoughtfulness, one of our core values, and just thinking about people that aren't used to church, coming in for the first time, yeah. being really considerate of how they're feeling when they're coming in. And I wanted to just bring up how good I thought Shalom did this last Sunday at the rally as she shared with us about the importance of hosting and welcoming new people into our services. She shared a statistic that we learned at the art conference that 75% of people make the decision on whether Sun City Church will be their home church before they ever get yeah. into the auditorium. This is a really big idea. Like before that they ever hear the music, start playing, before they ever hear me say anything, get to experience my likable personality, they're already making that decision on whether we're gonna be their church or not in the right. parking lot and as they head through the doors and as they interact with the kids team at Kid Check In. So we wanted to give you three practical ways that we could be thoughtful toward those who are coming in for the first time. Yeah. Chris is gonna share the first one. And our First Impressions team is already doing an amazing job at this. This is why they're opening the doors for guests and they're greeting them. They're not talking to one another, but they're just being welcoming and open. But this is for all of us to participate in as we show up to church on Sunday. The first yeah. one I would say is parking. Um, the school right next to us, Dishman Hills, has been very open to us and they're great friends of ours and they've invited us to use their parking lot on Sunday. So I would encourage us, let's go park in their parking lot and then we can walk over to church on Sunday morning leaving those prime parking spots available to new guests and first time guests. That's right, and as you take the longer walk over from their parking lot, you'll just get more steps for your pedometer, you'll feel better about your calorie burn for the morning, it'll Very be good. awesome. Hey, the second one that we can all do is we can be really thoughtful when it comes to where we sit in the auditorium. That's good. Now the prime seating in every auditorium is always at the ends of any of the rows, yep. right? So you can be, you know, most comfortable and closest to the bathroom. And you if you get, really fast. yeah, like you can always get out of where you need to go. Um, but that's what everybody wants. And so as dream team members, I would encourage you slide into the middle of the rows. That way, as the guests come in for the first time and they're looking about where they're going to sit, they don't have to imagine themselves awkwardly stepping over people and it's being totally uncomfortable and hey, just just help them by getting into the middle and then giving them the best seats in the house. Yeah, and the last way that we can be thoughtful practically is if we're families and we have kids and we're showing up on Sunday to check in our kids, I would encourage you to use the self check-in to check in your kids. It's a little kiosk. If you, if you slide around the check-in area, there'll be a printer in the middle with two iPads set up. All you have to do is enter the last four digits of your phone number, your family's information will pop up, and then you can check in your kids right there. If you have any questions, we would love to help you figure it out for the first time. But what that will do is that will allow the person with the laptop and the person holding the iPad to better serve the new families and the guests that are coming in. We'll get them checked in more efficiently um, and they'll have a better experience if we can keep those lines shorter. That's awesome. So if you'll do those three things, that would be awesome. We'll continue to serve all of our guests well. Hey, the last thing I wanna invite you to is we have our very first Small Group Leader Summit coming up on May 19th with special guests, Pastor Mark Estes and Walter Madison from City Bible Church. They're gonna be pouring into us as leaders that night. It's gonna be fantastic. This is on a Saturday night. It'll start at 5 p.m. for all first-time small group leaders. So if you've never led a group before, but this is the time that you're curious in that, we'll feed you dinner and we'll take you through the training for the first time. And then everyone else, we're all going to come at 6 p.m. and uh, Pastor Mark will kick us off. It'll be amazing. This is a time for us to just take our groups to a new level as we get ready for the summer semester coming up. So we love you guys. Thanks for watching this video. We hope that you have a fantastic week. God bless.